Hi everybody. So um, um, I went over colors with the new bloomers and I I thought it's still uh, the picture is not that clear still. So I'm gonna go over the colors now. Um, and I'm gonna just mention them. And I hope that you guys have a paper and pen and and then you know we're gonna go over the ones that I think uh, you know it's good to have to start with and um, and the ones that that brought like wow you know to the uh, to the painting for example so um, I mean, I prefer Amsterdam because Amsterdam has a lot of semi-transparent and transparent compared to other um, brands. Like I had um, Josania and mostly it's um, op opaque. Um, mind you, some colors are amazing. And of course, um, Artist Loft is a good brand as well, but I don't buy every piece. And I didn't include it here because maybe uh, later you're gonna know which ones. Uh, I might introduce also which ones that I thought is good in Artist Loft. But I think this is um, more than a good arsenal <laughs> to start with. So um, let's just start with copper. Copper would be a good color uh, to mix with poor medium uh, would be a good selectivator. So why I chose cover, uh, copper? Because it's in between, I mean, there's gold, there's fine, there is um, deep gold and there is, there is a light gold and there is bronze. But, you know, to start with, I think one color. Of course, you can choose also uh, deep gold or bronze or only deep golds. One of these would be just enough. If you would rather gold, then it's good as well. Uh, so one of those. Um, I think gold would be good. Let's just take this out and bring gold. Because it's, even as a color, it's used most of the time. And it's also, it doesn't have dark tint to it. Now I gave it a second thought. So Amsterdam, uh, deep gold, and if you see here, it's half transparent. This square here is half black and half half white, uh, half uh, half black and half see through. So this is uh, semi transparent, and then I added. Uh, silver also semi-transparent so all their um, metallics are semi-transparent now uh, later on you will go uh, and add deco art extreme sheen or deco art dazzling metallics or deco art 24 karat gold but these guys excuse me <clears throat> Uh, these guys need to be thickened uh, with the cream and all that. So to start with, I think, I as a starter, I just want to mix paints. That's what I did as well. Uh, the other color, of course, um, uh, I use for my black selectivator, Amsterdam Oxide Black. Um, and that is fully opaque, of course. And I use also a titanium white, and that is fully opaque as well. And you will see that we now use it under the cell activator. But for the new beginners, I would rather just do with the basic. And as you develop um, your technique and you feel confident, you can add all these additions, you know? Now, the these, I will finish with, uh, no, I'm not finished with Amsterdam. Green, 
and there's that if you need a deep green a deep green this is permanent green deep and you know it's i look at at what i had we have and i saw this like um um not that dark not that uh, um, in the middle so i thought this is a good green for you guys and um when it comes to this is like between purple and blue and i think i also like it a cobalt blue um what we consider it now ultramarine so ultramarine cobalt blue basically and um one more one more i chose for orange vermilion because again it's not that dark and it's not that light so in between uh ver vermilion remember four million <laughs> we would wish huh? <laughs> vermilion actually in dutch this is a dutch uh, product right they they name it vermilion fair <laughs> you would wish <laughs> i would wish <laughs> Okay, so now, the last one that I chose also for you from Amsterdam, I believe, no, there's some more, one more, is permanent, um, I'll read it here, permanent red violet, beautiful color. So, and one more, but I wanna compare it to another one in Liquitex. The, the, this color of, here it's called yellowish green in Amsterdam. And here, almost, huh? A bit darker here. Lime green by Liquitex, Liquitex Basics. This is a beautiful color, guys. Both of them. But I mean, see, Liquitex also has beautiful, uh, beautiful tints of paints. And I, I went through what I had and I decided um on a couple that also if let's say at one stage now we decided to start with um uh, with uh, pigments that you will be able also to use what i have it you have here uh with the pigments you have um so i will go now back no i will finish amsterdam so this is called yellowish green but i mean you know between this and this if you have to buy one it's a matter of choice if you want a light one or you want a darker one um this is also smooth to mix with so look at the cost cost effectiveness here if if this is available for much less cost than amsterdam you might not right um now um for later uh I also choose two colors. I thought I might as well because I think these colors are like for me, they're amazing. These are not semi-transparent. These are uh, opaque, fully opaque. But I thought since I'm mentioning the color, the other colors, I'll mention this as well. Once you grow to, um, to want to use an opaque, you have something, at least two colors. And they are beautiful, both of them. Uh, sky blue light and a turquoise green again amsterdam and and they can be used um at least this one i've been i've seen me i've seen it being used as a cell activator um which is turquoise green and um now we forgot red i also chose for you a nice name an easy name carmen and it's a it's a red tint that is not dark and not that uh, light, you know. D I mean, it, I don't see a reason why should ha one should have four reds. You know, this would be good to start with. Later, as you said, you won't even need me to tell you like uh, this is good to start with or what. You will develop, and um, and if you have a question, I'll be ready and happy to help. Uh, Liquitex Basics, like we said, already we had that green, what is it, which called lime green. And then one color that I love, love, love it 
is um, Queen Acridone Magenta. So if you want to spell it, and it's uh, half transparent, uh, semi-transparent, so you can spell it this way, Queena Cridone. This way, if you make it into three syllables, um, it becomes easy. So Queena Cridone, Queena Cridone Magenta. This color, guys, is amazing. I love it. And then I will still have to try this orange one. This is another orange. This is darker, see? The difference, it's like this is kind of, oh no, no, I'm mistaken. This is cadmium red medium hue. So, well, we have two reds now here. We have one that is orangish and one that is reddish, really red. And each one has its beauty. The other one that I thought is fully transparent, and I love this color, is Prism Violet. And guys, all of these would be good to mix with, um, to thicken, thicken your um, um, pigments later. I, I try to choose the ones that you, you will find good when you, it's time to th thicken your uh, your paint, your pigments. Now I have already a, uh, have already a video on how to thicken your um, uh, your pigments, how to mix your pigments, uh, what are your alternatives to mix your pigments, what are your alternatives to thin your paints, um, including of course not only pigment but metallics or if, if the day comes and you got um, golden uh, a flow acrylic or a high flow acrylic or you know things that need to be thickened there is a video that is specifically for um it's i think a 40 minutes but it's a full tutorial and it was um i put it for newbies and then my colleague said well we learned a lot from you and um my colleague was like a few months ahead of me. That made me feel good. <laughs> now, there's one color that I think it will bring you joy. And that is called, from from another uh, company, this is, I think, French, <clears throat> Papel. And um, it, this is called a reticent green blue. There is another one which is just similar this is a green blue and this is a blue green no need for both if i knew i would buy only that this one uh, it's uh, more beautiful and later on you can build you know build up but uh, to start with now i think this is already sent a reticent green blue so these are guys, um, you know, um, I think if you have these, then uh, you have more than enough actually to just play around. And like I said, try with, um, like I said in a previous video, try one that is semi-transparent, um, fully transparent, and for example, Whatever, um, whatever uh, one of these, you know, what suits these colors, let's say, I'm huh? taking as example here. And um, so I, th I would think pro possibly because of this, for example, uh, uh, red medium, I would choose um, gold. Uh, but if you put, for example, uh, uh, this fully transparent and this I don't know it says Diana but it's I think it's a semi anyhow it's it's not this is not an opaque because when if you get the and it's not Diana then it says opaque, but it doesn't. So it is either semi or, or, but if you take, for example, these, then silver goes nicely, right? 
So now you have got two possibilities also uh, to play around. And, uh, and of course, again, always cause uh, always look for cost cost effectiveness if you have to choose but never go down on a quality um i played with excuse me i played a while ago with um uh what's it called now craft paint and i mean i could also get bloom and an icy bloom christmas bloom but you know you want to use uh, reasonably good quality and at this stage no expensive stuff uh, you know when you're learning and this, these are reasonable and if Michael sometimes makes a good discount and you get 50% uh, um, on one or or so that's also a good chance to get some liquitex when you when you you know when you um, when you can, when, when there is that kind of, of um, now I will show you also the sizes and I will tell you, um, so of course, um, Amsterdam has um, jars like this and bigger actually. Um, <clears throat> and also Liquitex Basic has have these jars. If you're just going to do blooms um, and no other pours, maybe I would rather have tubes. Easy and, um, and you know, that's it. But if you're going to do other pours, Dutch pours, ring pours, whatever pour, then maybe you would like to get some of these. Of course, I think it becomes economical, but I tried this today in a black and then it kind of messed up my, um, uh, the, the consistency of my cell activator. So I have to order again some uh, tubes. Another one thing, information that you probably, I have put it in the group one time, but I, I will just mention it since we're going over that. There is, there's also a black by Amsterdam and also by Liquitex and by every uh, brand, I think. Uh, it's called Zinc White and it's fully, fully transparent. And it, they call it a mixing um, white. So if let's say this is too dark for you, you want a lighter, then you can maybe put a bit of white to it and you make it a, a darker. Do you see where I'm going? So this is, guys, is more than enough for now. I am trying to tell you this because I don't want you to end up with what I end up with a lot that I haven't used yet and um, I will use it but I mean you know why you can with this and of course every time you go and you find the nice color then and or there is uh, make sure that if there are sales that you get um, the most out of the sale if you can and uh, you know so that that is it guys bye for now